Hey everybody. So people were commenting a lot on my last video asking me why the reach was so long on the truck. And I wanted to clarify and explain how it works and why it's like this. Um, and also for all the people that are like, oh, that's just too complicated. It'd be too hard. It's really not hard. I mean, I've been doing it for 14 years. It's, it's not that difficult. Um, so anyways, the reason why the reach is so long is for bridge weight. So this truck has four axles on the truck and four axles on the trailer. Short, it's 63 feet long. And um, I can't measure it stretched out. And I honestly, I don't know exactly how long it is from the center of the front axle to the center of the rear axle when it's stretched because like I said, I just got it. I've never stretched it out. Um, and right now it's six degrees out here. So I don't think I'm going to be stretching it out today. I'm pretty sure that it's staying right where it's at. So, um, I did want to run over some charts with you guys and, uh, show you exactly how much weight you can run with eight axles and the minimum distance between the, the center of the steer axle and the center of the rear axle. So let's, let's, well, I'll get out my phone and I will show you the charts. Okay guys. So I have the axle weight table here in front of me. Um, I'll show it on the screen so you guys can see it, but, um, uh, on the left hand side of the table, it shows the feet in like the length of the vehicle. And then across the top, it shows the number of axles. So if we go over to the eight axles and we start dropping down. So this truck without, here it's on the next page. Um, this truck without the reach extension at the 63 feet that we have between the sear axle and the uh, rear axle. Uh, we are looking at being legal for 102,000 pounds. So with the addition of the four to five feet, I, well, it might be more. So I'm not sure cause I haven't measured it, but when we stretch out, the truck will be even longer and that'll put us at the 1055, which for eight axles, the minimum distance between the steer axle and the and the rear axle is 69 feet. So, and that's the same, uh, like that's the maximum weight allowed without a special permit. So 105,000 pounds or 105, 500 pounds. And with eight axles has to be 69 feet. So. With the 63 feet that we already have, you can guesstimate that the reach is probably about six, maybe seven feet um, when we stretch it out. And I definitely later on when it's not so freaking cold out here and I actually even fire the truck up, I will stretch it out and I'll show you guys how the reach works and all of that. But I just wanted to answer some people's questions because there's been a lot. Um, and I want to reiterate that it's not difficult to drive. It's super easy actually. Um, and I've been driving these trucks in downtown Seattle since I was 22. So, truck as it sits, again, 63 feet from the center of the steer axle to the center of the rear axle. And that's legal for 102,000 pounds. But when we add the six to seven feet from the reach extending out, that gets you at 105.5. And that's what the truck's legal for. I do not know the lightweight because I have not taken the truck on a scale yet, but I'm going to guess 38,000 pounds ish. So, uh, obviously I have to figure this out and I have to get on a scale and, and, uh, see what the lightweights really are, but I'm going to guess about 14, uh, tons in the truck and 18 in the trailer. Uh, maybe a little more, a little less, depending on uh, how the weight's distributed. All right, guys, I hope that answered your questions on why the reach is so long, uh, but it's six degrees out here right now. So I'm going to wrap it up and I know it's a short video, but I'm going to take this show in the house, get this edited and get it posted. So hopefully it explains why the truck is built this way and everybody can kind of understand. But all right, I'll see you guys next time.